Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. Today, we have some exciting news about developments in the Iraqi banking and economic sectors. Our sources, which include Newshound, Intel Guru, and Walking Stick, have provided us with some valuable insights. According to our sources, the Iraqi Prime Minister, Sudani, has been actively working to put contracts in place that will be implemented within Iraq. This is a significant move, as Sudani has been doing this with thousands of contracts. Our sources have told us that in the coming days, these contracts will be fulfilled in Iraqi dinars, IQDs, for the majority of the government's projects. This is a departure from the previous practice of using foreign currencies, such as the US dollar, for these types of transactions. This development is particularly noteworthy because these contracts will be paid for in IQDs only, even though they will be fulfilled at their full value. This suggests that the Iraqi government is taking steps to strengthen the local currency and reduce its reliance on foreign currencies. This news comes from a trusted source, who we know as Iraqi bank friend Akis. Akis said to have attended a high-level banking meeting, where these details were discussed and confirmed. The implications of this move are significant. By fulfilling contracts in IQDs, the Iraqi government is likely to have more control over the flow of funds within the country's economy. This could lead to greater economic stability and potentially reduce the influence of external factors on the Iraqi economy. Moreover, this decision aligns with the Iraqi government's broader efforts to diversify its economy and reduce its reliance on oil exports. By channeling more transactions through the local currency, the government may be able to encourage the development of other industries and sectors within the country. It's important to note that this is a developing situation, and the details may be subject to change as more information becomes available. However, our sources have indicated that these changes are expected to be implemented in the coming days, so it's a story worth following closely. As we await further updates, it's worth considering the potential impact of this move on the Iraqi economy. For example, it could lead to increased demand for the IQD, which could in turn strengthen the currency's value and purchasing power. This could have downstream effects on consumer prices, investment, and overall economic activity. At the same time, the shift to IQD-denominated contracts may present some challenges for businesses and individuals who have been accustomed to operating in foreign currencies. It will be important for the Iraqi government to ensure a smooth transition and provide support to those affected by the changes. Overall, this news represents a significant development in the Iraqi economic landscape. It suggests that the government is taking proactive steps to assert greater control over its financial systems and promote the use of the local currency. As we continue to monitor this story, We'll be sure to provide you with any additional updates or insights that emerge. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to stay up to date on the latest developments in the Iraqi economy. If you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.